Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean suite experts. And today I'm on board the beautiful allure of the seas. And this particular category is an accessible crown loft. It's the only one here on board. I'll talk about the sky class amenities and this particular suite here in just a moment. But keep in mind when you're ready to book your next suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line and we know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now with Sky Class on Royal Caribbean, you're gonna get all kinds of wonderful upgrade amenities. You'll have the concierge reach out before you arrive here on board. You'll have access to the concierge team as well to make reservations and really elevate your entire experience. You're also gonna have access to Coastal Kitchen Restaurant for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. And one of the great aspects of being here in one of the Crown Lofts is it's just a bit away here, all the way on the same deck. So it's a wonderful advantage to be able to head right on out, have easy and quick access to the Suite Lounge and Coastal Kitchen Restaurant. In addition to that, you'll have the Suite Sun Deck, reserve seating throughout the cruise, and every passenger in the suite will get access to Starlink internet. You'll get one login per person. You'll have expedited boarding, embarkation, and disembarkation throughout your cruise here on board, and so many more amenities in the suite. Now, I mentioned that this is an accessible suite. Now, we're gonna take you through that, and I'll mention as many of the accessibility options as I possibly can here. Let's tour this beautiful suite. Now, as soon as you walk in the door, to the right-hand side, you're gonna have a feature that you don't have on any other of the suites. This is an elevator, and I'll explain that in just a moment, but I'm gonna take you inside. Now you've got the button here and as I step in, this will take you directly up to the bedroom space. It's a wonderful feature that you rarely find on any cruise ship. And I love the idea that Royal Caribbean has made a crown loft that is accessible. Now you'll notice that the door is a bit wider for wheelchair access. And then to my right here, you're gonna see storage. Now you're gonna have hanging storage up above. They do have a pull down. So those who need it from a lower level can access it. And you also have another bar for that as well. There's a couple umbrellas that you can utilize while you're here on board or when you're a land touring one of the incredible destinations the Allure visits. Now, as we step into the bathroom, there's a slight ramp up here. I will point out that the main door and this door are not motorized, so make sure you keep that in mind as needed. And then as we head in, it does have a little bit of a roll down, but that's gonna give you that smooth access inside. There's a pretty good turning radius here. You see the shower does have that as well where you can roll right in. You've got a rainfall shower head up above, the adjustable shower wand here, and those highly upgraded Malin and Getz bath amenities. Now you're gonna have the emergency pull cord. You do have a shower curtain here, and then you're gonna have the pull down seat as well. Now, if you get this down a little bit lower, it's pretty good access for those with accessibility needs. Once again, every person is different, so it's important to understand what's most important to you. Now over on the side here, you're gonna find a nice vanity. You've got storage above and down below. It's got the ability to roll up to that as well. And then you're gonna have the grab bars on two sides of the toilet. I do wish they had a third one here as well, but you're gonna have that emergency pull string. Once again, the two grab bars to utilize in the bathroom. Now, as we head back out, I did wanna point out they've got towel hooks above and down below as well. Now, as we step further into the room, you're gonna find a temperature control here. You also have a dining table. Of course, you can take advantage of that extended dining menu here on board because you're in a full suite. You're gonna have more storage on the side here with the drawers all the way across. You've got two US plugs and a European plug for charging. You've got another European plug and US plug. Now, I always bring extra European adapters and converters personally, so I can take advantage of all the plugs in the space. Now here you're gonna find a mini fridge. You have a Lavazza coffee maker. It's one of those great upgrades here with Royal Caribbean. I start my day with an Italian coffee at home. I love that I can do that here as well. You also have a selection of Tazo teas. Once again, replenished as you'd like. Now as we head further in, you can really see that loft concept and it really opens up. You rarely get volume like this on a cruise ship. It makes the room feel massive. And I love the massive floor to ceiling windows where you can take advantage of those incredible side facing ocean views. Now crown lofts do come in the side facing and aft facing variety. And since this is the only one that's accessible, I love the idea that they made it side facing. Now over here, you're gonna find the sofa. It does fold out, so if you have more than two passengers staying in the suite, or maybe you just have two friends traveling together with that separation, you can utilize that as a sleeping area. Now they're gonna do turn down service each and every single night, and of course they'll make up your room in the morning when you head on out to have that delicious breakfast at Coastal Kitchen. 
You've got a coffee table here and two chairs, and directly across you're gonna find a large flat panel TV. It's fully interactive, so you can see what's going on throughout the ship, in addition to watching television. Now you've got a sound bar underneath and two Bose speakers. You can take advantage of that to watch the big game, maybe one of your favorite movies on demand, or of course the television channels. You've got a bit more storage underneath here. And I did want to point out that this is the staircase leading up to the loft. However, you have that elevator, I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna step out from the elevator here. I'm 6'6", so it's plenty of space for most people there. And now we're up on the loft. Now I wanted to point out, first of all, that you'll see the size of the elevator here. And then as you step out, there is a very smooth rollout feature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut that here. And all you have to do if, the, if it's down below is you just gotta hold down the call button and it'll head right on up. Now I also appreciate that there's a good size turning radius here, just like there is down below as well. Now we'll start off with the bed. So it's together in what they call their Royal King configuration. Now it is a standard height bed, so just keep that in mind if that's impactful to you. You do have space underneath where you can tuck your large bags away. Now on either side of the bed, you're gonna have a nightstand. There's a US plug behind either one, which is great for charging devices or utilizing a CPAP machine. You're also gonna have the emergency call buttons on either side of the bed. You have lighting controls over here that control the entire room, and then you're gonna have directional leading, reading lamps up above. Now across from the bed, you're gonna find a flat panel TV. Same as below, it's fully interactive, so you can see movies. Of course, you can watch your favorite TV channels as well. Now, one of the reasons you get a loft suite are the incredible ocean views, and from here, you get amazing views looking directly out of the ocean, just like down below. Over on the side here, you're gonna have your vanity. You've got two US plugs and a European plug there. Little bit of storage underneath, that's also where you're gonna find your hair dryer and a large backlit mirror to get ready. Now, as you go around to the other side here, you're gonna find quite a bit of storage. So as I open this up, you're gonna find that you have hanging storage all the way across. You're gonna be able to pull that down so that you can access that from a little bit lower. You also have more of those extra comfy Royal Caribbean bathrobes. Just next to that, you're gonna have even more storage here. It's also where you'll find a full laptop safe and shelves all the way up and down. I do like that the safe is lower if anybody needs to access that from a chair. Now, just like down below, you're also going to have a slight ramp up into the bathroom and it's got a wider door. Once again, I do appreciate that. And as we step inside, it's pretty much the same as the other bathroom. So you're gonna find that smooth threshold as you head into the shower area. The shower curtain wraps around, rainfall shower head up above, adjustable shower wand, and those highly upgraded Mallon and Getz bath amenities. Now you've got a grab bar on this side. You also have a middle one, the seat that pops down. So of course it always matters if you're right hand, left hand dominant. Just keep that in mind when selecting this suite. Toilet tucked in the corner with two grab bars. Once again, I wish they would have put the third one down there. And then across you're gonna find a nice large vanity. You've got a plug for a razor here and a bit more storage underneath. So now I've headed right back down to the main floor here, and now we're gonna head out to the balcony. Now heading out to the balcony, there is a bit of a ramp up intentionally there, and I wanted to open it up just to show you what that's about. So it's a little bit of an up and over, so it goes down slightly here. That helps with the threshold, and there is a pretty good turning radius. Now keep in mind, they can always remove any of the balcony furniture based on your personal needs. Now for point of reference, right next to us on this side is the Royal Loft balcony. The other side's another Crown Loft. You see those massive two-story windows behind me here, and you're gonna have two extra comfy loungers with a cocktail table in between. They also have two chairs here. They can get a table out here if you'd like. You can have every single one of your meals right here. Of course, you can also have a cup of coffee or tea in the morning, maybe a cocktail or glass of wine in the evening as you take advantage of the ever-changing ocean views. Now for me personally, there's something magical about being on the ocean, that fresh ocean air, the ever-changing views, and of course, waking up in a new port each and every single day to explore. Now the ship itself is absolutely massive. If you wanna see the entire thing, make sure you check out our full ship tour. And when you're ready to book your next suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Har Travel. We know the space is inside and out, and we have an amazing relationship with Royal. We know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now let's go cruising.